science and now you know how to eat for the best results. Now it's time to take that theory and put it into practice with three kettlebell training routines to help you reach very different goals. First up, weight loss. If your goal is to lose weight, then the first thing you're going to do is to fix your diet to contain fewer calories than you burn and you're going to make sure that you're eating lots of nutrients and not too many carbs and fats. Then you're going to start doing kettlebell swings. Lots of kettlebell swings. Why? Because kettlebell swings are absolutely ideal, not only for burning fat, but also for toning your body to provide you with the ideal physique. When you train with the kettlebell swing, you are performing what's known as resistance cardio. This means you're combining cardiovascular, in other words aerobic, exercise with a form of resistance. This has been shown to help burn through more calories than cardio alone because the body has to work harder by engaging the muscles. What's more, kettlebell swings are a compound movement, meaning that they utilize lots of muscles at once. This causes more muscle damage than training just one muscle group and the body responds by producing more growth hormone and testosterone to build more muscle. This tones you up and having muscle burns more fat, but it also helps you to burn fat. Finally, the kettlebell swing is perfect for creating toned legs and buttocks. Women particularly love the kettlebell swing because it is so effective at creating round and firm glutes that only the squat can come close to providing normally. We're also going to be using something called HIIT, High Intensity Interval Training. This means we're switching between high intensity exercise and periods of rest, stroke, low pace activity. Doing this is ideal because it allows you to burn through more fat, triggering something called the afterburn effect that lasts long after you've finished the exercise. It also means you can get more exertion in less time and a short HIIT workout will help you to lose more weight than a significantly longer steady state workout. This is important because you need a training routine that's going to be easy to fit into the day. Many of us are out of shape because we lack the time and energy to work out. Trying to start a routine that takes 7 hours a week then is a non-starter. Instead, you can get an incredible workout five times a week with just 10 minute sessions. Simply perform kettlebell swings for one minute, rest for one minute and repeat. Try to see how many kettlebell swings you can complete in that one minute and how many rounds you can do. Start with five. It's going to be more than enough by the last set, trust me. As you get more confident, you can build up to rounds lasting 20 or even 30 minutes. Make sure the weight is heavy enough that you're just starting to struggle by the end of the first 10. If you're even more pushed for time or you're feeling particularly sadistic, then you can try what's known as the Tabata Protocol. This involves exerting yourself at a maximum capacity for 20 seconds and then resting for 10 seconds before starting again. You can find lots of MP3s and YouTube videos online to talk you through it. It might sound easy, but Tabasa will absolutely kick your ass and leave you in a heap. Just a note here, Tabata is not for first time trainees. Build up to it by creating a base level of fitness first and only then give this a go.